Did you know that over 150 million, million with an M, yes, 150 million hours are watched on YouTube every single day. You multiplied that times seven days and then multiplied that times 30 days and then multiplied that times 365 days. Those numbers would absolutely blow your mind. That is how many hours per day are watched on YouTube. And if you didn't know already, YouTube is a social platform. It's a search engine just like Google, but the cool and unique element of YouTube is the fact that it's also a social platform. There's comments, there are communities, there are people that you can have conversations with, and they have community pages like you've seen on my YouTube channel. So today's video is about social media marketing, how you can use it for your business. So I wanted to share that because a lot of people are creating wealth and freedom and influence on social media platforms. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, welcome back to another training video. This is Adrian Boisel, CEO and founder of Adrian Graphics and Marketing. Glad to be back here for another video. Today's video is about social media marketing. You guys have probably been wondering, what is social media marketing and how can I get into it? You see lots of people posting pictures on their Instagram with a million followers, two million followers, all this influence, all this authority with great stuff. How do they do it? How are they living these free lifestyles? Well, the key to success for them has been social media marketing. They have found their platform or platforms and they've been able to make the most out of it. Before we talk about that a little bit more, I want to share the origins of social media to begin with, because I think it's important to take a step back and look at where we've came from to where we are today. Social media marketing really took hold in about 2003 with the launch of MySpace. There were some other platforms before that, but none of them reached the mass awareness that MySpace did. If you remember MySpace and your first friend ever online was Tom. Everybody had Tom, which if Tom ever watches this, I wanna get him on the show. So I actually was really big into MySpace when it first started because it allowed you to customize your profile and really make it you. And MySpace's tagline was a place for friends. So if some of you guys are younger, you didn't get onto MySpace or MySpace was just beyond before your years, MySpace was a really powerful platform that helped give credence and give a runway to other platforms like Facebook, like Twitter, like Instagram, all the other platforms that have jumped onto the scene since then were all helped by MySpace. My, MySpace really created that uh, mass adoption in people's minds and really proved the concept. So it's important that you understand MySpace was the beginning. It was purchased in back in 2003, or not purchased, but it was created in 2003. And then in 2005, it was acquired. And then back in 2011, it was acquired again. And during that time, their first acquisition was about 580 million and their last acquisition was about 30 million. So they've lost a lot of traction over the years and they just didn't evolve. What they really missed in their opportunity for social media was to evolve forward with Facebook, not the other direction. They went backwards and really they lost their foothold, they lost their strength and that's where Facebook took hold and really took the opportunity to lead as the number one brand out there. And now, as we know, MySpace is practically obsolete these days. Very, very little revenue, very little in comparison to Facebook and the active users are just almost non-existent. So understanding that about MySpace and that was your origins, if you actually had a MySpace page and you had your top eight, drop a comment. I wanna hear about your MySpace days. Tell me, share a funny story, but I wanted to share my MySpace days because I used it to promote my events. I used it to promote my business, my printing companies. And it was the first introduction that I had to using social media marketing to grow your business. And that's what social media marketing is, is you use the social platforms that are web, website-based platforms and app-based platforms to grow and reach your audience. If you look at sites like Facebook, you may not know this, but just if you took social media marketing as a whole and just social media in general, there is over 3.5 billion active daily users on social media every single day between parlors and TikToks and Instagrams and Facebooks. There's 3.5 billion people. That is a massive amount of our population. That's almost 45% of our population. So that's a huge number. And that's a great opportunity for you as a business owner, as a designer, as a creator, to have that social element, to be able to engage with people and have that audience and to build that community. Marketing is all about building those relationships and building those communities. Social media platforms are the greatest to do that. And so you see these people out there creating their freedom, creating their tribes and building networks of like people like The Rock. He has like 290 million million people, I think, or something insane 
following him on just Instagram alone. So influencers, celebrities, people who are no namers have been able to create millions of dollars of revenue, drive traffic to their courses, to their products, to their landing pages. It has been one of the greatest sources of traffic any business owner can have. So if you're not using social media, it's really important that you start doing that today. I found an interesting statistic that I wanted to share with you. 90% of millennials are on social media. That's huge. And only 45%, less than half of those people are actually baby boomers are on social media as well. So it's really important to understand that the majority of millennials are already on it. So if you're, an, you're a business that's trying to market to millennials, there's no better platform than going onto social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. If you're trying to market to baby boomers, you still have a ma massive market for the baby boomers. People that are you know 50 and older, this is a perfect generation. I think baby boomers are actually more like 65 and older, but this is a perfect generation that is getting onto platforms finally and adopting it. They call it the late adopters that are getting onto platforms. So if you wanna reach them, you can. Facebook's probably gonna be your best bet. But if you wanna get onto something that's cutting edge, the sites like TikTok and Instagram and Twitter and Parler, these are up and coming platforms that are being, gonna be really important for you to adopt as well into your business. So I wanted to explain what social media marketing is and why it's important. It's important because people are talking to their family, their friends, and there's conversations that are happening every day. There are people uh, sharing posts, they're sharing memes, they're sharing videos, they're sharing all different types of content. So you wanna be able to figure out what kind of content are you gonna produce on social media? Similar to what I'm doing here on YouTube and on other platforms as I'm uploading these videos to be able to share that social aspect, to be able to share this content for free with thousands of people across the world in different parts of the country. I get emails emails from people all over the world. So social media has leveled the playing field for businesses. That's why it's important. And it's also given me the, the opportunity to reach people across the country. Even more important to understand is the fact that people are spending three hours a day on average on social media. So do the math. Three hours a day times seven days a week, that's 21 hours. You multiply that by 30 days out of the month, you're looking at 90 hours a month. That is a significant portion of somebody's life. Next to sleep and work, that's about it. So the fact that you can get so much, so much attention on social media platforms from people three hours a day is a great opportunity. Websites like LinkedIn, people don't check them as frequently, but when they do, this is a really great place for business to business people to be able to make these relationships. If you're not using LinkedIn, you're missing out. It's a great opportunity. 45% of B2B marketers are using the platform and they're seeing huge success on lead generation. And that's why we created Lead Butler. So that's what social media marketing is all about. It's about networking, it's about community, it's about building those tribes. And the bigger the tribe you build, the more money you're gonna make. So, and you don't have to go too big. You wanna focus on a niche and reach a small audience first. They say a thousand raving fans is the key. And from there, you'll start to build traction. And that's what we're doing here on YouTube. So I wanted to share those things. I wanted you to understand what social media marketing is, why it's important. There are lots of people who've created multi-million dollar businesses off of social media alone without doing SEO or any of these other things that we talk about. So I wanted you to understand it's an important pillar in your business. You gotta take advantage of it. It's something that you should do if you really wanna grow your business and scale. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.